Now that we've flattened out the lane slopes, we are ready to create a top surface for the east and west approach. We're going to start with the west approach first. I'll select the corridor, and then I'm going to come up and use the corridor surfaces shortcut button. I would like to create a new surface. We'll call this secondary street west approach top. For surface style, I'm going to choose an existing style. Let's choose triangles one and one existing orange. I'll click OK. I would like to triangulate to any link that includes a top code. I'd like to add those links as break lines, and I'd like to use the top links overhang correction. I'm also going to add some feature lines to this surface. Let's add the back of curb feature line. We'll add the face of curb. I'm going to add the flow line gutter, and let's add the flange. Each of these feature lines will also act as a break line in this surface. Next, we'll add a boundary. I'll go to the Boundaries tab. I'll right click on the surface I just made, and I'll choose Corridor Extents as Outer Boundary. I will then click OK. I'll choose Rebuild the Corridor. I'll press Escape to deselect the corridor model, and we'll take a look. I'll select the surface. I'll choose Object Viewer. And then we'll tip this up and spin it around. Looks like we have good definition on the curb and gutter. Currently I'm viewing this model using the Shaded with Edges visual style. I'm going to flip this to Shaded momentarily. And if I spin this around we can see the crown of the road. So this looks good. Let's put this back to Shaded with Edges. And then I'm going to close the object viewer. I'll press Escape. Next we'll create the surface for the eastern approach. I'll select the model. Corridor Surfaces. We'll create a new surface called Secondary Street East Approach Top. We'll give this the same existing style. Triangles 1 and 1 existing orange. I'm going to be triangulating to all the links with a top code. Those will act as break lines. We'll use the top links overhang correction. We will also add some feature lines to the surface definition. We'll add back of curb, face of curb, flow line gutter, and flange. Finally, we'll add a boundary. Once again, I'm going to use the corridor extents as the outer boundary. I'll click OK, and we'll rebuild the corridor. Let's select this surface. I'll choose Object Viewer. Tip this up and spin it around. This one also looks good. We can see the definition of the curb and gutter. Triangulation looks nice. If I flip this to shaded, I can see the crown over here as well. Let's flip the visual style back, and I'll close the Object Viewer and press Escape. Now that I've created top surfaces for primary street and secondary street, I have all the information necessary to create profiles to connect the primary street edge of pavement to the secondary street edge of pavement in all four quadrants. We'll take care of that in the next session.